Hey friends, welcome back to the Frizz and Frills channel. Today we're gonna to be talking about a ton of different products. I am giving you all, and I mean all of my favorites that are under $10. Yeah, you heard it right. $10, okay? So I am gonna break it down. We've got shampoos, different types of shampoos. We've got conditioners, deep conditioners, treatments, curl creams, oils, gels, dry shampoo. I mean, literally anything and everything that you can practically think of, we're gonna be covering today. I just counted over 40 different products that we're gonna discuss. I'm gonna go as quickly as I humanly possibly can. So let's get started. You will see me pull up these brands again and again, and the reason being is because there are only so many that are truly, I think, worth talking about in the under $10 price range. Towards the end, just so you guys know, I am gonna pull together a few kits that I think are really affordable as well that normally the single product might not be in that under $10 range, but if you put it in the kit, it's either really close or it's still under that $10 range, okay? So let's get started, I'm so excited. Okay, so we're starting with shampoos, okay? We're gonna start with the Heritage line. They are one of my favorites. They're all under $10. I think they all end up being right around eight bucks. Every single price and name will be listed up here so you guys can always refer back to it. And in the bottom in the description, everything will be linked and titled below, okay? That way you don't miss anything. So the first thing I wanna start with is Heritage's co-wash, okay? This is their co-wash here. Fantastic co-wash, it's really gentle, it's moisturizing, and it's under $10. Next one from Heritage, their Gentle Daily Shampoo, okay? This is another one of my favorites. I've used this multiple times. It's phenomenal, I really can't recommend it enough. It's lightweight, it doesn't strip your curls. It's still gonna give you more of a wash than your co-wash, because your co-wash is really meant to be super gentle and mainly moisturizing. This is gonna be a really gentle cleanse. Now, the last one from Heritage that we're gonna talk about for the shampoo is a brand new one. This is called Pass on the Brass. Okay, this comes in a shampoo and conditioner. We'll talk about the conditioner in a little bit. But this is gonna be your toning shampoo. And I'm just gonna show you this really quick so you can really see. Look at how purple that is. I love this. So this is for my blondes. If you are a blonde curly, I would highly recommend this. As you can see here, you got all of the freeze. Okay, so we are sulfate-free, phthalate-free, paraben, silicone, gluten, mineral oil, color-safe, cruelty-free, vegan, you name it, it's got it, okay? So this is a phenomenal one, especially if you deal with a lot of dryness from trying to do your color-safe type stuff. The next one we're gonna go into is also, the, those are all available at Walmart. This one is two. This is called Sky Organics. They've always been in the kind of like skincare area, and they finally broke into curl care. And so they launched this, I think it was... January, I wanna say, I can't remember. You'd have to go back to my Instagram feed. But this is a phenomenal one, okay? And this one's, I think, $9.95 if I'm remembering right. And it's absolutely fantastic. They have an entire curl care line, and this is gonna be including in one of my kits that I'm gonna mention at the end. The next one that we're gonna talk about is Maui Moisture, okay? You guys already know that I love Maui Moisture. This is their Curl Quench line. I, this is probably my favorite line that they offer because it's made specifically for a curly thick texture so it's super hydrating but it's also not over the top heavy either so this is one of my all-time favorites I think they launched this a year year and a half or so ago I want to say just an absolutely phenomenal line I could not recommend the entire line enough another Maui moisture product is gonna this one's gonna be more for your finer thinner textures, okay? So this is a new launch. They just launched within the past month or so. And this is their flaxseed shampoo. And they have a flaxseed whole line now. It's including the shampoo, conditioner, and the refresh spray. This is actually really nice, even for my more dense, thick texture. I still really enjoyed this, even though they recommend it for a finer texture. If you have fine to medium hair texture, this might actually be a really good, fantastic option for you. And those run, I think, around seven or eight dollars. Again, all those prices are gonna be up there. Now, the last thing that we're gonna talk about in the shampoo category, this is not technically a shampoo, but I really wanted to make sure we touched on at least a single scalp product. Unfortunately, I don't like any scalp products that are under $10. I was so sad. I literally racked my brain and went through all of my products 
I'll pan to all of my products that you'll see. I have a lot and I just reorganized them this past week. It feels so nice to be organized again. This is the only one. I think this one runs at $11.99. So it's really close to $10, but all the ones that were under 10, they all have this like, like a black scrubby that does not disintegrate as it hits water and as you massage it in. For me having extremely dense texture, it's extremely hard for me to get out those little black scrubbies. Every time I've tried one, I will even double cleanse and try to rinse it out. I still end up with them on my scalp until my next wash day. So like, I just can't do it. So this one is the best one I've found for a scalp scrub that is in that lower price tier. This one is from Kristen S. Okay, so as you can see here, I love their packaging. It's absolutely adorable. Don't like their curl care line, but their scalp line, not bad. But yes, I'm pretty sure this is a sugar-based scrub and I really like it. It's really nice and thick. It also has a, as you can see here, a kind of like um, where you can actually get it directly on your scalp a little bit more easily. So really fantastic product and it's a nice size, I feel like bottle as well. Very user friendly, especially when you're trying to get it in there. So that is gonna be my one that I'm gonna recommend in the lower price tier. If you ever have questions on other scalp scrubs, maybe we can do a full scalp scrub video or something, but most of them are kind of more expensive, so sorry. Okay, that concludes the shampoos. I'm trying to move right along for us, but we got a lot to cover. So next we're gonna talk about conditioners. Okay, so the first one on the list here is the smoothing conditioner from Heritage. This is a really great one. I think for really any curl type, it does feel extremely smoothing. This one is is still silicone free if that's something that you are looking for. Keep it in mind, I do not follow the curly girl method anymore. So I will be talking about some products that do have silicones in them. So just keep that in mind. Make sure you do your due diligence if you are looking and I'll do my best to mention whether it has silicones in it or not. But this is a really fantastic one and it does not weigh your hair down. Also around that $8 price range can't beat it. The next one is from that same pass on the brass line. So if you are a blonde, this is the conditioner. I'm going to show you how potent this is as well. So this is the conditioner. Guys, look how potent that is. That is so colorful. A lot of conditioners normally have that kind of pastel violet color rather than that really intense one. So I have to say, I give it to Heritage. They came out with a banger. That again is gonna be for your blondes. I like to use one of these normally about every other wash when it comes to something that's a toning product like that. The next things are going to be from, as I already talked about these two lines in the shampoos from Maui Moisture, okay? So we've got the Curl Quench line here, right there. And then we've got the new Flaxseed line. This I'm gonna recommend for my thicker curlies, okay? The ones that have that thicker, higher porosity, need the hydration. This for my finer textures, okay? Both of these, I think they end up being seven or eight bucks. Amazing. The last one in the conditioner area is from Sky Organics. Again, you've already heard about these brands, but I'm telling you, they're great, okay? So this one right here is truly for your curlies and coilies. Phenomenal, amazing slip, really good, $9.95. Fantastic option. Okay, now we're through the normal conditioners. Next, we're gonna go into deep conditioning masks, treatments like that. Okay, the first one up is Not Your Mother's. This is from their natural line. This mask is phenomenal. This is their matcha green tea and wild apple blossom, nutrient rich butter mask. So this is not only giving you moisture, but it's also going to help repair damage. This is super affordable, fantastic option. And if you aren't even necessarily sure if you wanna invest in this, they also have these amazing little packets too. So you can get the green in the packet as well, but they also have it in their other moisture masks too. So my other two favorites, besides the green one, this one is probably my favorite, but then this one right here is amazing. This is their Royal Honey and Kalahari Desert Melon. It is fantastic. It's made for repairing and protecting. This one is a little bit lighter, I feel like, in um, it's not as heavy. And then this one right here is actually from their technically the, their curly collection. So this is their Tahitian Gardenia and Mango Butter Mask. Also phenomenal. I really like that whole curl line too. If you are looking for another curl line from them, you can try their other products. They have shampoo, conditioner. They will also be talking about another styling product that they have. That's one of my favorites, but this is just a really good line too. The next one is again from Sky Organics. I'm sure you're feeling this pattern, okay? This is their treatment mask. This line came out very recently and 
wow 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 this one is such a good mix of moisture and protein to keep the balance it's super thick so you see how thick it is i mean look like that's on the cap like it doesn't go anywhere so this one is such a fantastic treatment this is def this quickly became one of my absolute favorites i already went through i think almost a full tub of this and i got this in i think in january so fantastic option the last one we're going to talk about is actually one that i was surprised that i actually really liked and this one is by garnier fructis this is their smoothing treatment it's a one minute hair mask it also can be used as a leave-in this is just another fantastic one and also super affordable god you guys are getting all the deals today all right now let's move into our stylers we're going to start with a leave-in which is technically not a styler but you use it after your shower okay and before your stylers it's like that in between the first leave-in we're going to talk about is from not your mother's this is going to be a more lightweight leave-in this right here is made from again their repair and protect line i really love it for me it's phenomenal for refreshes and we're going to do one more that is i think even on the lighter end compared to this that is the heritage light as a feather leave-in this one is as you can see just look at this consistency it's very watery so it's really light hydration this is a phenomenal for a refresh or if you have finer texture this is also going to be really nice for you now if you are on the thicker more high porosity need all the hydration this is a newer launch that came from maui moisture as part of their shea butter line this is really nice as you can see it's i don't know if you can see in here but it's milky it kind of i feel like has a similar texture to this this is made to be extremely hydrating okay so like i said this is a new launch very nice product very happy with it now as an honorable mention i'm gonna do a few of these honorable mentions that are still extremely affordable products that i couldn't find anything that was in the under ten dollar price range that really fit the bill for some of what some of you might be looking for so one of those is from verb this one right here it retails at 18 dollars but in the curl kit that I'm gonna to talk to you guys about here towards the end, that one you can buy, I think you get 20% off the full kit, you customize it, you get 20% off, and then you can also use a code, I'll put the code up here, um, and so you basically get a collective 30% off, which brings this down to, I think, about $13. So really still extremely affordable, just not quite hitting that under $10 price point. But what I love about this is this is even a little bit thicker, and it's just a fantastic leap. <coughs> Excuse me. Oh, cat got the tongue. Dry throat. Oh my God. So what I was trying to say is this leave-in is gonna be on your thicker end, but still I feel like doesn't overly weigh it down either. So if you're looking for a leave-in that is on the thicker end, you could go for something like this and still get it at a really reasonable price. Okay, let's move on to curl creams. For the curl creams, we are gonna go from lightest to heaviest, what I feel like in my opinion. So let's go through it. Number one is Not Your Mother's. This is the Curl Talk line. I don't use this as often unless I'm using it more as a refresh product because it tends to be sometimes a little bit too light for me. However, for my curlies who do have those finer textures, this is gonna be a winner for you, okay? Now, the next one is Maui Moisture, okay? We've actually got two Maui Moistures that are gonna be in this category. This one is from the Coconut line, okay? This is their Coconut Milk Combing Cream absolutely adore this it is a little bit on the lighter end but it's also not like so light it's not going to give you that hydration that you need my moisture it's in the name like you just know you're going to get a lot of moisture there okay so this is really fantastic absolutely recommend then we're going to go up to the curl quench line i've already talked about this now multiple times today and so this is amazing this is their curl milk for thick curly hair okay aka me okay so this is also one of my absolute favorites i actually i'm using a new bottle here because i was like picking out the hair that was like <laughs> in the other one i was like we're just gonna use a new bottle this one right here hydrate smooth defrizz coconut oil papaya butter plumeria extract don't really know what that is but i can tell you they smell amazing oh my god Every time I smell Maui Moisture products, I'm like, take me on vacation, please. Thank you so much. Fantastic, fantastic whole line, okay? The next thing is going to be the thickest, and that is the bouncy, bouncy, <laughs> don't mind. 
me. <laughs> Bouncy curl cream, okay? As you can see, this is gonna be on the thicker side. Very similarly to their treatment mask, actually. It's a gut, it feels like a very similar consistency, but it is a fantastic one. You do not have to use very much. It's got great slip, great hydration, and this is also for my, almost dropped it for my super thick curlies as well you could use this if you uh, have a finer texture but remember less is more with a product like this this is really what i would consider for my thicker curly and coily textures now that we've gone through curl creams y'all we're moving right along now we're gonna go into gels okay and gels were a little bit more of a tricky category for me because for some reason there are hardly any affordable gels that I have liked in the like stronger hold side of things. I'll tell you how we're gonna break it down. With the gels, they were a little bit more tricky. So I have two gels that are on the lighter to medium hold, more soft hold. They're not gonna give you that scrunch off the crunch type texture. And these ones are still in that under $10 price range. But if we're looking, if you are, know that you need that stronger hold, anti-humidity, high porosity, I brought in two other that are more medium to high hold products that I feel like are, need to be mentioned because they're still not overly pricey and really fantastic products. So they're gonna be my honorable mentions as well. So number one, soft, beautiful, luscious hold. This is again from that Curl Talk line, but this is their gel. This is a fantastic product. It does have a lot of glycerin in it. So if you know you frizz out really easily or in, and are in high humidity type climates, like I do have, this is probably going to give you a lot of volume, but it's not gonna give you a lot of hold. So if you like, like if you have a finer texture and or you have thinner hair and love the volume, this you're gonna love, okay? But if you have already big hair that gets way too big, which is a thing, yes, it could get too big. <laughs> it just gets too big and too frizzy too easily, then you're probably not gonna find this to be the right fit. The next one, and this is a new launch, also from the Curl Quench line from Maui Moisture, and they finally launched a gel. Oh, yes, okay, so this gel, Surprisingly, okay, when I use this, now what you'll see is they put the, they advertise this as an ultra hold, okay? So see how it's like, oh, it does smell really good. If you look, it's like very jiggly, okay? It's a very thick kind of emollient type product. So I will say it does have a decent amount of hold, but it's a very soft hold. So if you find, again, that your hair frizzes out easily, I don't know if you're gonna love this unless you like a really soft curl. If you like a really soft touch and you're good with washing your hair maybe every like three to four days max, then this is gonna probably be a really good fit. But if you're like me, sometimes I feel like this is good for a refresh. That's still gonna give me that soft refreshed look with a little bit of good hold. I just didn't get the best hold out of this for day one curls. Now, moving on to the ones that I said are honorable mentions. Now, if you have been following me even for a little bit, you probably already know this is one of my holy grail products. This is the Kinky Curly Custard. This is truly, I could not speak more highly of this product, okay? It's $16, you can get it pretty much at any of your local drugstores, Target, Walgreens, etc. Yes, it is It is definitely more expensive than in that $10 price range, but when I tell you it's worth it and you have to use yay little bit amount in order to get it to go very far, I do not kid. This thing lasts a very long time and it is worth the $16. So I'm just gonna put that there for you guys. It's a very high hold product. It's gonna give you that crunch. You can scrunch it out and it's gonna give you beautiful curls. Now, if you want something that is a cream to gel in between products, I feel like there aren't very many of these out on the market actually, and I really enjoy them because number one, you're killing two birds with one stone. But number two, it's got this really interesting texture. So you can see it's very jiggly, it's so jiggly. But it really is a cream gel mix. And this is fantastic. I actually haven't mentioned this line on this video yet because it isn't under that $10 range. 
but it's really close at $12.99. So I feel like it's worth mentioning if you are looking for something that is a higher hold that also has some nice moisture in it. This is a really fantastic product. This is actually my second container. I just started using this a few months ago. So, and I go through, uh, I change out my products all the time. So that's telling you something. Okay, now, <laughs> y'all, I feel like we're going through so many products and I hope this isn't over the top for you guys. Like, I hope it's not too confusing. I just wanted to make sure that I got in as many options for you as I possibly could because I know a lot of you, some of you are in the US, some of you are in Canada, some of you are in the UK, some of you are in Australia. Like, a mix thereof in many places that I didn't even mention. And I'm trying to make sure that I give you guys equal opportunity to find good products that are gonna be good fits. And every product is not a fit for every curl, period. So I wanted to make sure I included those lightweight products for you and those heavier products. Deep hydration, lighter hydration, protein, less protein, glycerin, not glycerin. Like, I wanted to make sure that you guys had the opportunity to find the things that are going to be the best fit for your curls. Okay, that was my two cents on that. Now we are going to move over to oils and serums. Now, actually, two of these oils and serums that I'm going to be bringing up are brands that we haven't really talked too much about. The first one is actually going to be from the Frizz Ease line, which we haven't talked about, but this was a newer launch that they had within the past year, and I've really enjoyed this product. It's a fantastic one. It has a lot of nice hydration and also helps with anti-humidity because it does have dimethicone in it. And with dimethicone, that's a silicone, if you guys are newer to the curly girl, you know, whole journey. So what the silicone is gonna do is it's going to create that barrier to keep in the moisture that you have, but keep out the humidity from the air so that you're not getting extra frizz where it's expanding that cuticle, okay? I hope that makes sense. So this is a really fantastic one I, that I really enjoyed. The next one is going to be from Maui Moisture. This is gonna be silicone free, okay? This is really nicely hydrating, but not gonna be heavy either. Fantastic, it says weightless oil right in there. It's got coconut milk, guava extract, and mango butter. Fantastic option. And the last one, here's the deal with this one. This is one of my holy grail oils. In the full size, which is right here, this is from Verb, this is their ghost oil. Literally my holy grail oil, period. Now, the full size is $18. Still super affordable considering I've had this for how long? And if you can see, I don't know if you can see, but where that is, I mean, it's it's just down, it's about down by half. Like, and I've had this thing for so long and I use it every week. Crazy. But they have it in a mini. So if you don't wanna spend the $18, you can buy the mini version, which is gonna give you probably about a third of this for $6. Okay, so if you wanna try it, go for it. Buy it for six bucks. You can even use my discount code on it too if you want to. And this is gonna allow you to at least see if you try it. And that's one of the things that I like about Verb. They actually have a lot of their products, including shampoos, conditioners, everything for the most part in minis for you to be able to try out. So I really appreciate that they do that so that everybody has the opportunity to try it and make sure it's a good fit before they buy the whole big normal size bottle. This one does have silicone in it, just keep that in mind. Again, there's a reason I like silicones in my oils because I find they do a great job, better than anything, for protecting me against extra frizz out in extreme humidity. Next topic is refreshing products. Normally a refreshing product is going to be lightly hydrating without the weigh down, so let's chat. Number one, this one is actually brand new. Again, that flaxseed line. This is the refresher from it, and I love it. Phenomenal product, really lightweight, but still adds the nice amount of hydration. All of their products are aloe-based. Phenomenal ingredient, especially for curly hair. So I would highly recommend this right here. The next one is going to be the Curl Defining Detangler, okay? So yes, this can be a detangler. You could use this on day one. I love the spray on this this little mechanism, it's fantastic. And this has just been all tried and true. I've used this now for quite a while. It's a fantastic product. I would highly recommend it to anybody, whether you have waves, curls, or coils, it's a great product. Now, another new launch that recently came out, and this is gonna be a different type of refresher. This is a scalp refresher, okay? This is from Not Your Mother's, again, but this is a brand new one. It's their Aquatic Mint and Coastal Sea Holly Scalp Refresh hair and scalp mist, okay? 
This thing, number one, the scent is just incredible. All you do is you just pop it right in there. If you feel like your scalp is getting a little uh, musty or after a workout and you need that nice scalp refresh, this is gonna be your friend. Mm, I love the way that smells. This also has a little bit of a cooling sensation. Y'all, I really cannot recommend it enough. Super affordable, super fantastic product, especially if you are a person that works out on the regular. Now, the last of the categories today is going to be da -da 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 -da, dry shampoos and volumizing products, okay? These are one of my big things in the curly community. A lot of people don't always use volumizers and dry shampoos. Reason being is because there, there's been a stigma around it, I feel like, where people, it, it tends to be drying, okay? And it is, I mean, it's right there in the name, dry shampoo, right? Volumizer. It's taking that little bit of extra moisture that's in there, helping to dry it up so that you can get that extra volume and you can get that extra texture that's gonna give you that extra grab to help give that volume that is going to actually stick around. One of my favorite ones that both of these actually recently launched and I love them are from the Heritage line. These are both in that $8 price range. The first one is the Magic Spell. I actually used this today for my root volume. This one right here is the Magic Spell Texturizing Spray from Heritage. Again, really affordable, fantastic product, has a nice scent to it. Fantastic. The next one right here is their Lazy Day Dry Shampoo. Also fantastic. The difference between a texturizing spray and a dry shampoo. This is really meant to dry up that moisture. This is meant to add that extra grab. So I personally do find that I like a texturizing spray better than I like a dry shampoo because my hair doesn't really get that oily. But if you find that your scalp does get super oily, then you're gonna probably go towards a dry shampoo to get a similar effect. The other ones I'm gonna talk about are from Not Your Mother's. Now, this is actually a baby version of this, but this is the Beach Babe, okay? They have a texturizing dry shampoo, and they also have their Blonde Moment one that came out recently, and that one's downstairs, and I forgot to bring it up here, so we're just gonna pop it right up here for you guys so you can see what that looks like. So they are both dry shampoo, but one is made for blondes and the other one is really made for anybody. So the blonde actually has a little bit of a like kind of like purpley blue tinge to it to help really bring out that blonde color and keep that nice and toned. So I really like that about that. Don't mind my roots right now. My roots are terrible. My poor hairdresser, she had a sick kid the last time and then our schedules just haven't lined up. So these roots need to be done so bad. Hopefully I can get it in, in the next couple of weeks. <sighs> Fingers crossed. <laughs> Oh, and the other one that I did want to mention is from Waterless. Waterless has a fantastic dry shampoo too, and it adds a ton of volume. But that dry shampoo, I want you to keep in mind, this one, okay, the Beach Babe one, and the one from Waterless, both add a lot of grab. So you might feel like if you use too much, you also might feel like your hair feels a little bit too much, like it has too much buildup. And so that's something to keep in mind if you find your hair, you, you get that very easily, where you feel that buildup and it really bothers you, then you might not wanna go towards this one or the waterless one, you might wanna go more towards the heritage option. Okay, guys, I got through it all, wow. <sighs> Bless your souls for getting through that. The only thing that I am still going to mention are those kind of bundles kits that I really couldn't talk too much. There's one bundle and kit that I we did talk about the products and there are two other ones that I feel like need to be mentioned because they're super they're super affordable and great options for you guys to know about. First kit is from Sky Organics. In this kit you get every single product that I mentioned today, you get the shampoo, the conditioner, the curl cream, and the treatment mask. All four of those, and you get it for 35 bucks. I mean, okay. Like, that's a phenomenal price, and it's a fantastic line. If you think that you are in for any of those products, I would absolutely recommend just buying the kit, because then you're gonna save an extra five bucks, and you get to try it all. The next kit is a brand that I absolutely adore, but I really couldn't mention in today's video, which is Curlsmith. They have their tester kit, their Curlsmith tester kit, and it comes with six different products in their mini bottles. I'm gonna put that right up here for you guys. 
That kit is a fantastic way for you to test out Curlsmith and learn which products you might like and might not like. I think you get three stylers, two masks, and I think they're co-wash, I wanna say. It's a fantastic way to just get in the door with them at a reasonable price. The kit itself is $61 and you get six products. Like I said, their products are more expensive, so they are gonna seem a lot more expensive than what we talked about today. But I wanted you guys to know about that in case you've had Carl Smith, you know, on the mind and you just couldn't bring yourself to spin it, not knowing if you were gonna like it. That's there. I will link it below in case that's something you want to try out. The last kit that I'm gonna mention is the custom kit that you can create at Verb. Now I did mention a few of the Verb products, like as an honorable mention, including the ghost oil, including the leave-in. They actually do have an entire curl line with a shampoo, conditioner, the curl cream, and the leave-in that I showed. That one, you basically get 20% off by purchasing the kit, which like I said, you can customize it and you can put in whichever products you want, but I do recommend doing those four products and that ghost oil. Those would be my choices if I were to put it together. And you get those five products, you get it at $72, and then you can take an additional 10% off with my discount code. So all in all, it comes down to $13 per bottle, which I think is still a really affordable product and definitely worth trying if you've had your eyes on Verb or wanna try any of those products. And guys, that is gonna conclude our video. Thank you so much for sticking around. If you are still here at the end, bless your freaking soul. Seriously, I love you. Tell me in the comments which products you're most excited to try out. I really hope I gave you guys you know, a full list of things that you can possibly try and that are gonna be a good fit for your hair and your curls, waves, coils, you name it. I hope you find something that is a good fit for you. Again, everything is linked below. And if you haven't already, make sure you hit that subscribe button. Make sure you hit the like button as well so that other curlies can find this video. And guys, until next time, I will see you next week. Bye.